much of the much of what I've been seeing since the death of my partner on December 5th has really awakened in me the truth of what I was learning from Dickon and Mavis. I think up until I had that experience of loss and a very sudden loss, an unexpected loss, there was a level of understanding that was perhaps intellectual. I knew I could handle challenges, but I guess the challenges that I thought I was able to handle were all sort of things that didn't touch the heart. Things like business, things like financial, things like location and vocation. And so when, so when my partner Francesco sudden, had a sudden heart attack on, in December, I was quite surprised at just how how true it is that love is all around and that love is what we need most and what is available in a relationship regardless of the human drama that goes on mm. and so the feelings of love that I have lived in kind of shocked me in the last number of weeks and couple of months. I'd even say sometimes I felt a little bit guilty at how good I was feeling or sometimes I'm feeling because I just didn't expect that in the face of such tragic loss that any of us could feel good, that any of us could experience love in a new way, in a bigger way. And I've shared very openly with many of you, you know, those of you that are part of my community, it's not like Francesco and I had this perfect relationship. I had a lot of hesitation and procrastination and sort of swinging left and right on what to do next and whether to get married and whether to stay together and whether or not I was in the right place with the right man at the right time. And all of that now, as I see it, all of that kind of relationship, um, doubt or drama or questioning, just looks like getting lost in thought to me and how innocent that was. And yet this love that was underneath was always there and is still there. I've shared with many of you just the, the miracles of love that have shown up in my life, which has really taught me that just because he's gone physically, really doesn't mean that he's completely gone. Sometimes I'm even having a joke with him. Why couldn't you have been this uh, quick at doing things when you were alive? <laughs> because it seems now he's just able to fix things and deal with things that help me in a really in a really, um, well, in a really quick way. So I feel very touched that even though at times I get low and there's a couple of times I have really fallen and when I think about not just losing the love of my life, but also now losing 
you know, the life that I once knew, my life, nothing looks the same, you know, kind of thinking about it the other day, losing my, my connection to my town that we were living in, leaving behind the home that we were living in, living in. now living um, and here with his, with his parents and being looked after for a while. There was just a lot of loss all at once. And what's really helped me or what's really been very important for me to see as a second piece to this experience is even when I'm really, really low, it's a feeling of grief and loss without fear. And I didn't know that was possible. It was only when I was listening to an interview with a woman who'd lost her fiance 20 years ago. And I heard her story and I heard the tragedy that happened to her. And, and I also heard where she was 20 years later. That I realized, wow, that could be me if I didn't know what I know. If I didn't, if I hadn't had a grounding and understanding that feelings, all feelings are love in disguise and that if we allow an experience to flow, we can handle anything. So I would describe my, my big lows and my tears and my grief as a little more gentle as a result of not getting stuck there, as a, as a result of knowing that, that, that that's temporary and without a, a second layer of suffering called fear or panic. And those two things have just been very big for me in the wake of all of this. The fact that so much love has been felt and experienced and the fact there's a presence of love from Francesco continuing to touch my life. Coupled with being able to go through this terrible loss without that second layer of suffering called fear, without it getting locked in and stuck. And I thought that this would be important for people to realize or to hear. Maybe you're someone who's experiencing loss, a loss of any kind, and perhaps it's taking you down and it's, it, life is looking, pretty bad right now and and so I wanted to just share that with you 